The science is against it. The law is against it. It's very clear that what they're doing is culling and it doesn't fool anybody anymore. We grew out of uh, Western Australia in 2014 when there was uh, the Barnett government uh, decided that they were going to cull sharks as, as a response to a number of uh, shark bite incidents that occurred over there. And of course there's been the issues in, in Queensland and New South Wales. In Queensland there's essentially two types of equipment used for the shark control program and those are shark nets and drum lines. Shark nets, despite a lot of people imagining that they are some kind of barrier preventing sharks coming to the beach. Uh, they aren't. They are just a fishing net. Four to six metres in depth and placed in water that's generally around about the 12 metres of depth. So immediately you can see that uh, there's a big space underneath the nets. Now the drum lines consist of a large buoy about yay big and below that's a, a hook. Culling sharks is culling sharks. Whether it's 300 a year off, off the Gold Coast or 90 odd thousand animals caught in nets and drum lines since 1962. I witnessed a humpback whale mother going from one side of a net to, a, to another because her calf was entangled in that net. We believe that if you combine a really good non-lethal program with a good education program, you can have the, have the, a win-win for beach safety and, and tourism. The general population of sharks has been in uh, great decline and, the, and there is science absolutely backing that. We know that tiger sharks on the Queensland coast since 1962, around about 73% decline, which is, which is absolutely massive and completely un, unsustainable. The science has been clearly shown in court. The law has shown in court. This system is not legal, at least in the marine parks, but it doesn't make pictures safer. I do remain hopeful, but it's, it's, it's ever challenging because we don't know what we're doing to most species until it's too darn late.